What's up crew? How's everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Wanted to hop on here real quick today just to give you an update. I'm gonna let everybody get in here and then I'll let you know what's going on. Make sure say hi when you get in here. And I got a few more wash updates. Dishwasher updates on the different vinyls and the vinyl shield. What's up, Sonia? What's up, Elaine? How are you? What's up, CME Creations? What's going on? All right, so, oh, what's up, Heidi? What's up, Jasmine? How are you? Kristen, what's going on? Amber, how are you? NCOG, what's up? Melissa, Sherry, how are you? Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I, and those of you who hopped on first, you guys will get a little bit of a head start. If you are an all-star member, you got about a three or four hour head start on this one, okay? I promised you guys once we got them back in stock. <laughs> I'm missing the Cardinals sign. <laughs> That's funny. No, the Cardinals, I do have a Cardinals shirt. It's, um, it's right there. It's at the bottom of that. It's right about there is where the Cardinal shirt, there's a Brewer's shirt, one right there with it. <laughs> uh, but serious, I got, um, we just, we just got back in stock, okay? We just got back in stock, not bling anything yet, okay? Not bling anything yet, but we did, let me flip around here, just get back in stock the Sunfire. So the Sunfire Color Spark Sign Vinyl. Sunfire, we were out of stock for about probably two or three days. Probably three days now, but a very, 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 very limited Cardinals fan in Rangeland. Oh no, Vicky. A uh, very limited amount. That's that's why I let the All-Star members know first, but I told the All-Star members in a few hours I was going to release it to the rest of the crew. So Sunfire is back in stock, and the other color that is now back in stock is the Paradise. And the Paradise has been out of stock for a few days as well. And, oh, come here, cup. Oh, cup man down. The Paradise is what I used for the palm trees here in the bottom. See how it turns to the green and then the orange and then the yellow? So Sunfire and Paradise now both back in stock. I know, right, Pilar? It hit this, bounced off this, hit this, flipped there, fell there. Just, yeah, we're calling it a fail. But look at the paradise from here. It's all green. Look at the paradise from here. It's all orange. Paradise from here. It's orange, yellow, black, and green. Over here, it's more of a mint color. Here, it's more of a mint color. So, paradise obviously was one of the more popular ones off the start. So, paradise and sunfire back in stock now. Now, quick update. Quick update on the dishwashing tests, okay, for the dishwasher. This one here, now, you can see these edges are starting to get pretty bad on this side of it here. Almost all of them are starting to pull up. So, what's cool about this, though, is I'm going to be able to fix this because I'm going to go back to the file. But here's the thing, 24 times through the dishwasher, and this is a little bit thicker design, so that's the only reason why I think it lasted that long. But the bottom part here, still perfect. Like, no thoughts of that even coming off. So, this is the side, this is the part that has the vinyl shield on it. The Sunfire has vinyl shield on it. The top part does not. 24 times through the dishwasher, still perfect. Obviously, corners are peeling up on this one here. Same thing with this. This is now 
at 24 times for Sunfire and I think six, 14 times for the Unicorn there and the Unicorn here. All of this, all of this is actually done with the Vinyl Shield. So 24 dishwashers in is pretty dang good, right? 24 in is pretty dang good. What else do we got? The other thing I did real quick is this here. Is, are you guys having issues with the feed? That's weird. This one here I just did for Jackson real quick. So this is just a little Under Armour water bottle, but it has the vinyl shield on it as well, which you can see. What I love about it, and I, I'm sure most of you will probably be getting your vinyl shield, who knows, how, depending on how close you are today or tomorrow or the next day when you ordered it the other night. My favorite part of it, I think, is just the, like the, it feels like it's super protected. It literally just feels like it's on there really good. Where a normal vinyl feels like it can come off. This is obviously a print cut. So print cut vinyl with the vinyl shield on top of it. And then this is just an actual decal. So if I wanted to, let's just say customize this one, clean off a little area there. I'll bring it over here so you guys can see, just to show you how easy it is. Let me bring over this baby here. Let's move this down. As you can see, I'm doing some more testing today. So, it's a mess. But what I love, thanks Mary Beth, I can throw that on there now. Makes it a whole lot easier. But peeling this off, you can see, even when you give it to the customer, everything is all good. The vinyl shield is on it. Let's go ahead and drop this. Let's say right about there. Again, just kind of go over it with my thumb here. And then roll off my hot fix tape. And then I kind of just go over the edges again. So this one is now just with that dishwasher safe. And honestly, what it does is it really makes the color. Can you guys tell from the video here how much that orange is really popping? Let me see if I can get, hold on, just to be able to compare it. So exact same decal, right? Exact same decal, but it really just right through it. And even though it has the vinyl shield covering it to make it dishwasher safe, it really makes the colors vibrant and pop, which I think is pretty awesome. So Jackson has a new water bottle. All right, now what else do we got? So Paradise, Paradise and Sunfire Color Spark are currently in stock, okay? Are currently in stock, but very limited supply. Now, I'm always honest with you guys and upfront with you guys, okay? Oh, freaking, how about it? Did you guys see? I literally just saw it probably last night. I don't even know what time it was, probably two in the morning. Whew, Herm killed it. Both of you guys killed it. Freaking awesome. So if you haven't seen Herm's new video yet, go check it out. And I'll post it on the Facebook page as well. But I'm telling you right now, the Sunfire and the Paradise, we only got a few hundred feet of it in. Or I'm sorry, we only have a few, few hundred feet left because I released it to the All-Star members a few hours ago. And when... 
those two colors are out of, when they do go out of stock, we're probably, we do have more over and on the way already, but we're still probably about two weeks on that, okay? I'm assuming that the Sunfire and the Paradise will be out of stock. There's no way it'll last till Monday, probably tomorrow. I'm thinking the stock will hopefully last till tomorrow, through the live tomorrow. Uh, what else we got? Shoot me a couple questions you guys have, please, let me know. Um, can I check the stock? Yeah, I can check the stock now, kind of see where it is. So, Sunfire right now, we only have, let's see. We're just under 300 feet in stock. Which 300 feet sounds like a lot, but I think we started with like 6,000 feet. So. Man, I caught a TikTok of you on a cricket, on a cricket page, Pilar, yeah? Which one was it? Heck yeah. Was it the giveaway? I just picked the winner. Well, I picked it yesterday, but cricket support group, sweet. Oh, the Larry Dick. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna actually do another one of those videos, Pilar, on the layering decals, and um, but I'm gonna do it with the new color spark vinyl, and maybe do like that four color um, unicorn or something. But just to let you guys know, also, I heard that. Some of you guys have asked, um, Todd is, Todd was going to do a full tutorial on rhine studs as well and brushing in a big rhine stud design. So I did hear that, that Todd was going to do a, someone was asking about what rhine studs were like to brush in. So I think Todd's going to do a video with like 2000 rhine studs and brush those in. So that should be sweet as well. I'll let you know when he releases it. What else we got? What's up, Brene? How are you? Oh, that's freaking Alicia. Alicia, that's freaking awesome. Thank you for tagging me. I'll go check it out. You are very welcome. Thanks for coming by and thanks for watching. I'm not sh um, Sherry. I'm currently working with three different companies to pick which one's going to be the best, but I am going to be making templates for um, other types of cups. So hold on a sec. So like this is just a generic brand right here. Okay. This is just a generic brand, but it is a double wall acrylic tumbler. I think this one is a 20, this is 24 ounce. Okay. I think we may be able to get some, um, get you guys or it, they just have pretty good pricing. Basically what I'm doing is awesome. Awesome. Stephanie. Thank you. Basically what I'm doing is just going to, um, find a good company, buy it, buy it from them. I'm not even telling them that I'm going to bring them customers yet. Okay because I want to see what their support's like if they're not benefiting from it, if they're just me looking into it, okay? Um, I have Renee, yes. That's one of them that I was talking with. All right, what else we got? So, best case scenario for you guys and for my business is me finding a business, because for me to bring in, like I was saying, 5,000 cups is ridiculous when it comes to shipping costs and everything else. Awesome, Renee, that's good to know. Try not to miss a super helpful attack. Oh, awesome, thank you, Alicia. 
24 ounce are hard to get. Yes, I agree. You can always get, it's really easy to get 16 ounce and 32 ounce. 24s are more difficult. I did notice that. Um, so tomorrow's live at 12 noon Eastern here on YouTube. Tomorrow's live, I am going to be doing... I'm going to be doing this cup here. Okay, I don't even know what kind it is. Tall, towel, something. I don't know. Got it at Walmart. So I'm going to be customizing this. And we'll use the vinyl shield. And this is for hot and cold drinks. Which would be pretty cool. And then I'm also going to be doing a kind of large water bottle. So for workout type water bottles... And we got a new pack coming out that's going to be kind of built around water bottles, especially like the ones that are really popular right now. Um, the vinyl shield is available in a roll. Yes, Melissa, it is now. Because if you buy, let's say, 15 feet or 25 feet of the vinyl shield, you'll get a 25 foot basically roll of it. So anytime you ever see something by the foot on our website, it just means you can buy it by the foot. But if you order, let's say, 15 feet, you'll get a 15-foot continuous roll. Yeah, you got it. No problem. Um, do you still still have vinyl? Yes, we do still have vinyl shield in stock. Quick thing on that, though. Great question. Thank you. Um, let me check how much we have in stock. I think the vinyl shield is just going to get more and more and more popular the more and more and more people that see it. So, right now we are down to, because we were able to get it down to a pretty, the amount we bought, we were able to get it to a pretty good price for you guys as well, especially for as quality of material it is. We only have left, um, we only have 800, a little over 800 feet left in stock of it. Again, 800 feet sounds like a lot. Okay, 800 feet sounds like a lot, but when we, the day that we released it, I think we sold close to 4,000 feet. So, again, haven't seen, you know, the vinyl shield sparkle, what the vinyl shield is, it's, it's a material that you cut on your vinyl cutter that goes over your decals to make it dishwasher, and I'll bring it up, can you see it right there? See the contour that I did around it? It goes over your decal, okay? And what that's going to do is it, it now makes all of your tumblers and, and cups dishwasher safe. It has a UV protectant on it that I'm currently in the process of testing to see how long it'll allow maybe even a heat transfer vinyl to last outside. And it's going to make everything kind of scratch resistant as well. So... It's different than, I see some people and some people have asked, is it basically like a laminate? Yes, it's similar to a laminate, but way better quality than the laminates that are out there. Way better quality. Um, In-house training, I'm not going to lie, is not looking good for October. Okay, because we've had a lot of the people that are coming and you guys that are coming to the in-house training that have been messaging us lately. And we need to give you guys, obviously, a, a fair warning of knowing and not looking good, not looking good for October because, I mean, the way Florida is right now. So, yeah, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. So I would say probably within the next week or so, we're going to make a final decision because there's no way to know what it's going to be like in October, right? So if I had to say, if I had to give you an answer right now, I would say that it's probably not going to happen. Okay, it's probably not going to happen. However, any of you that have purchased it or whatever what whatever it is i mean obviously we'll either refund what you paid for it or we'll if you got it in a kit we'll make up for it with that or you just bring it into coming into next year with them because the in-house trainings are amazing we love doing them but we also with everything that's going on who knows what it's going to be like what is the blue thing on your table that is Jeff, that was actually sent to me as a present from Mary Beth. 
and it is for when you're doing cups and tumblers and stuff. So it stays stationary as you're decorating them. It's pretty freaking awesome, isn't it? And you'll see all over YouTube different ways. I actually had this on my list. I actually had this on my list to make one because, I mean, it's PVC pipes with like almost like pool noodle type stuff. And this one's awesome. Mary Beth did hook me up. Heck, yes, she did. Look at, look at how organized I am. How about that? I'm freaking organized. I've never been organized before, right? Who would have known? Check this out. This is just a, um, you know, the little spray bottle that I use whenever I'm doing wet applications. Just to let you know, this spray bottle here, I put these bullpen logos on it. I don't know, what was it? Uh, six months ago, whatever it was. But not even washing this, you can see just from handling it, that little area there, that's starting to pull up kind of a little bit there. This right there kind of ripped a little bit. That's starting to peel up a little bit there. Had I put the vinyl shield on this, none of those areas would have came up because that slight little contour is what's protecting all of this. It's going to be sweet. I think you guys, I think you guys are going to love yeah, the oils from your hands, exactly, exactly, Stephanie, especially on cups. Like if you're just washing a cup over time, even though you hand wash it, if it's a thin font, there's only so much adhesive that's going through that thin area, right? So an example is this. So like on this Lake Life design, right? This is heat transfer vinyl, so we obviously put it on bling anything, okay? But I guarantee you, this has been through the dishwasher a ton of times, but I guarantee you those little seagulls would not have lasted had it just been a decal vinyl stuck to it. But because I used bling anything and pressed to it, that's why it's lasting. Had I used sign vinyl, right? put vinyl shield on it, it would protect all those little seagulls right there, which add a lot to the design. Now it's dishwasher safe. But you guys know, just hand washing this over time, those seagulls would all come off. Do you guys all agree? Because there's only so much adhesive back behind each one of those, no matter what sign vinyl you're using. Believe me, there's no real special sign vinyl that that's gonna stay. Um, <clears throat> The thickness, and I saw a lot of you guys asking this the other night. How big of a contour are you using around it? It really depends on the size of the design, okay? The bigger contour, the easier it is to line up, right? Because using the clear um, transfer tape makes it easier, but it still can be a little bit difficult because it's clear um, vinyl shield. So it can still be a little bit difficult to see the outlines. Obviously, the more the contour, the more you can see, the easier it is to layer it up. But what I love about it is how it pulls off on the application tape, where that's where most of the laminates, or almost none of the laminates do, right? Um, Daniel, we, are, we have been fighting with FedEx for that for the last few days. Some people have the option for it. Some people don't. So believe me, that is nothing that we took away. We have been fighting with FedEx for probably three days, four days. I think through Friday is when it started, Thursday or Friday. And we have, our tech team has been on the phone with them every single day trying to figure out what's going on. Because some people aren't getting the ability for FedEx ground shipping which is our most popular shipping method. So I promise they are trying to figure that out. It really depends on Nicole, with your current laminate, what you're doing is you're doing registration marks. But remember that's doing like a printed, right? 
So with the with the vinyl shield, it depends. If you're doing a a print design that where it's printing registration marks, of course you could just layer the and squeegee the vinyl shield over top of it and then cut it all together. You could definitely do that. What's up, Cynthia? How are you? It's because of the consolidation of delivery points. Oh, oh, Stephanie, that's good to know. That sucks, though. Oh, yeah, UPS ground. I know, Daniel, it stinks. I know, FedEx. We, we had UPS for years, and UPS isn't necessarily bad. It's better in some ways, but the FedEx side of it, we've seen a lot better um, kind of delivery times and consistency. Correct, Spark. The vinyl shield is only for hard surfaces, not t-shirts, not apparel. That's correct. What's up, Rebecca? How are you? Welcome. Also, I just posted a new giveaway on TikTok. Did you guys see it? Yes, other styles and tumblers. We're actually coming out with a new, um, a new tumbler pack tomorrow as well. But I am, we are already working on, we are already working on some different, um, like the skinny tumblers and stuff. And I'm trying to think of different ways and I'm playing around with and testing. That's why that entire trash can is full over there. That was testing. Honestly, that entire trash can, that trash can was probably emptied two or three times yesterday. That entire trash can is um, all from testing. That's all literally like wasted, not wasted because it was testing, but filled with vinyls and everything from working on different ways to, to do templates. My goal is, especially with the skinny templates or wider templates or templates more like these, where it's kind of the same all the way around, getting them to where you can say, okay, well, if I'm doing this, I can enlarge the template a little bit and it'll fit that way. But if I'm doing this, I can bring it down a little bit and it'll do it that way and so on. So to make them kind of as universal as possible, we know it's not going to be perfect every time. There might be a little bit of adjusting, but we'll see. We'll see. The goal is to make it as easy as possible for you guys. And that's, this one's probably one of my favorite ones with the four different colors. And look at it. Every angle I put it at, it's turning a different color. You guys see that? This is four different colors of the Color Spark signed vinyl. It is unicorn, um, unicorn lemonade, paradise, and mystic are the four colors I used on that one. And then this one is just the unicorn. So the unicorn will get like a blue and a pink and a purple and so on as you kind of move it around different ways. And then it almost gets like a clear and a light blue. It's pretty sweet. All, every single, currently every single color of our Color Spark is in stock right now. Yes. Unicorn poop. We were hoping today, there's still a chance, it's only 456, so maybe we'll still get something today. But we were hoping today. No, actually I'm sorry, we were hoping tomorrow. So we're hoping tomorrow, but it may be maybe Friday, maybe Monday, I'm not sure. And then same thing with bling anything. We're hoping Maybe there's a chance of tomorrow, Friday, hopefully worst case scenario, Monday.
Just received my order of the first three and they're awesome, awesome Debbie. <laughs> yes, Unicorn Poop was our joke name for the Prism Stones. Because we were playing a little naming game and Renee called it Unicorn Poop. So Unicorn Poop it was. It'll always be known as Unicorn Poop now. But it's called Prism on the website. Um, we also have tomorrow some mandalas coming out. Because a lot of people are asking for those for cups and stuff. So we do have one or two packs. I think we we might have three brand new packs. Three brand new mini packs tomorrow. <clears throat> that's funny, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, so you um, Karen. So any any pack that you purchased. Like for example, the um, the cup pack where I added a little bit down to it at the bottom, something like that, it would be an updated pack. Something like this, where it's a completely brand new template, it's a brand new layout. Think of it honestly like a brand new design. Okay, so I'm probably the the one that I, the template that I'm working on now. I would say last night. I would say probably around midnight to 4 a.m. I probably got about four hours into it right now and I'm not even close to figuring it out yet. So honestly, each template design and layout is probably to get it to where it's as perfect as possible to make it as easy as possible for you guys. And it's still not easy, right? It's probably at least a six to eight hour job. It's, there's a lot of work behind the scenes that go into it and a lot of, again, not wasted because at the end of the day, you have to use a lot to keep testing it out to get it to where it fits right. But anytime we make like small adjustments to an existing one, if it takes me 45 minutes, an hour to redo it, then like I did on the one, then we just update it for you. I don't know why the, a lot of you guys are saying the feed keeps stopping. I don't know what's up. Um, on the 24 ounce cup, the textured lid edge. Yes, Pilar, what I've actually done a few times, what I've done a few times, because here's the thing is, let me see where I have one that's done. There we go. So the, the textured edge on these can be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Right? Yes, unicorn on the desk behind me. Yes, that is right there. But what I've done, and I tested it on a few of them, and some of them it worked absolutely amazing, and some of them where I didn't do this, it wasn't nearly as good, okay? is I actually threw a little bit of, um, cause you gotta think when they open and close this cup a lot, that edge is getting a lot of wear and tear on it, right? A lot of wear and tear on it. So that's probably the most difficult part of these cups. But what I'm testing is just throwing a thin, before I apply it, I'm throwing a thin layer of um, like a Fusion Tack or Multigrab 360 like literally a super thin layer because I want to see what the difference is as far as durability. So I'm testing it out on like three cups. I have a couple of them that don't have it and then a couple of them that do. And then just that, that thin layer of glue will really help because like this one right here, I've put this one through the dishwasher probably eight or nine times and I'm not fixing it because I want to see what happens, but look at this. You can see a little bit of the edge right there. See how it's starting to pull up? Because it's that textured edge. Because it's that textured edge, it can't really form in there perfect because it's basically got those bumps, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll probably eventually pull this whole thing off 
Now that I know that that part came off a little bit, I'll throw some fusion tack or something around it. <laughs> Pulling that up just gave me anxiety. But it doesn't have stones on it. This is just one of the glitter ones. But now I'll throw some glue around it. And here, hold on. Let me see. I don't know if I have any right here or not. Let me check. Um, I do have a little bit. This one here is my fusion tack. And this has literally been sitting in my drawer for probably two months now. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. And we'll just test this out later. So I'm just going to drop, like I said, just a thin layer around there. I'm going to pull up this side. And I'm going to actually just pretty much do the whole thing. There we go. And now I'm just going to kind of work it back around again. And I want to see, I'm going to let it kind of sit for a day or so to make sure that fusion tack dries good. And then I'll put it through the, through the dishwasher again to kind of test it out. And just know when you put that fusion tack on there, like the adhesiveness of the bling anything is now against that kind of wet fusion tack. So just know it's going to slide around a little bit. So just be careful with it off the start. And now I'm just going to kind of let this sit overnight and see what the difference is. You could have, yes, I was thinking that, putting the glue in the vertical grooves. I agree, but it's just... Again, you don't want to be sitting there doing that for 10 minutes. Everything I always do, my goal is, is to do it as quick as possible. So I'll always try it the quickest way first. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll go and try it a different way that may take a little bit longer. I always test the fastest ways first. Labor cost, that's where all your cost is. I used it and it's worked perfectly for me. I also used it to seal my seam on the cup. Yes, Jeff, I've done that as well on one. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of an insurance, what you could do, I did it on this one, you can't see it at all. Where my seam is, that you can barely even see it all, this cup's so good. Where my seam was right there, I basically put some, uh, some fabric tack and I just kind of put a perfect line right between the stones and then I just kind of went over it with my finger there. And it's just, it's almost like your insurance press with the heat press, right? I'm just throwing a little insurance glue on that seam to just kind of hold that seam. Because if that seam holds, we know that the rest of it's holding, right? All right, we're good to go. So everybody knows Sunfire Paradise back on the site tomorrow, 12 noon Eastern time. I will be live at 12 noon Eastern time tomorrow. So make sure to come here on YouTube. We need 400. We'll give away a mini pack. We got three or... Thought someone was coming here. Three or four. Um, I think three or four new three or four new um, mini packs. Are you doing a cup? I gave away the cup yesterday on TikTok. Well, I posted it today. I posted it today for the cup winner. So if you're here, you might be 
one of the cup winners. And I also posted a new giveaway that I'll be announcing the winner on Monday. And that was for a um, some unicorn color spark. Hi, crew. Hey, appreciate all of you guys. I will see you tomorrow, 12 noon Eastern time for an awesome training. We'll have a good time. Hi, crew. Later.